Hello and welcome, welcome to all students here. Again, I have imagined that I have a group of students right now listening to this tutorial and I'm going to touch on this uh, 2014 Red Sortical Preliminary Assessment, Paper 2, Question 17. Again, these are the last few questions whereby usually it's a 4 or 5 mark questions. Oh, scary, isn't it? Oh, and actually it's not. Again, I want to show you how easy it is to solve such a question. Right. Know your fundamentals, know your concept. That's it. Solve your units. Okay, let's read this question. Charlene had 148 pieces of $2 and $5 notes. She spent 60% of her $5 notes to buy a bag, and then her mother gave her another six $2 notes. As a result, the number of $2 notes was twice, as many as the number of $5 notes left. So find the amount of money Charlene had left. Wow, again, lengthy. Many sentences, uh, well, if you will look at the actual examination paper, it's actually like um, four to five sentences long. Never mind, always think in terms of units. Can you express everything in terms of units? What I mean by everything is that, are you able to think about how to express the number of $2 and $5 notes before and after in units. Well, if you know how to express them in units, you'll be able to solve your units. Think. At this point in time, you may want to pause the video, right? Pause. Give it a pause right now. Think. Any information to allow you to express everything in units. All right. Welcome back. I believe you have paused the video just now for a while, and now we're back to the question again. So. Let's take a look at this $5 because I see that 60% of her $5 notes was used to buy a bag and then her mother gave her another one. Alright, let's concentrate on this $5 notes. $5, originally, it must be 100%. Agree? Right? So, as a base of the $5, it, is, it has to be 100%. So, let's say she spends 60% of that. What is left? It must be the remaining number of $5 notes. And as uh, with regards to the original, it must be 40% that is left. There you go. You have certain, uh, ascertained certain relationship before and after with regards to the $5 notes. But well, there's another thing. When you look at percentage, I always emphasize that you must be very particular about what are they referring to, what is the base, what is make reference with regards to. So I, I wouldn't want to use percentage to solve my question. Let's use units, something we are all so familiar, right? Okay, so how many units would you go? 100? Yeah? Why not? This is what every time, most of the time, teachers would uh, encourage students to use 100 units. I'm not saying it's wrong, but let's say, is there any way to make it smaller or even smaller? All right, whatever it is, I can use 10 units in replace of 100 units for the total, right? Of course, you can also argue, oh, I want to use 5 units, so be it, go ahead. I'm not stopping anybody from choosing an even smaller number, but I'm very comfortable with 10. Because why? If this is 10 units, so whatever is spent is 6 units. And then whatever is left is 4 units. Do you see that? So right now, you have established an expression, or rather two expressions for the number of $5 notes. At first, it's 10 units. And in the end, it's four units. So, what about the two dollars notes? Well, let's take a look at this particular statement that was said. As a result, the number of two dollars notes was twice as many as the number of five dollars notes left. So, if the number of five dollars notes in the end is for you, what is three times of that? Isn't it as good as telling telling you that the number of two dollars notes in the end is three times that of the five dollars notes so you just work out another expression which is three times for you is equal to 12 you see that so if in the end the number of two dollars notes is 12 you what is at first and you may ask why do i need at first oh why let's take a look at the question again how are you going to solve your units if you don't know at first um since like i'm telling you a very big hint for some for some who already got it well, pause my video, do it on your own. If not, continue, 
or if not you can also pause and think about it further all right so number of two dollars notes at first will be 12 you minus six why because at first her mom did not give her an additional six dollars a six two dollars note so you must take it away remember that so this is where it's a bit slightly trickier all right now so what's next you may ask yeah, I'm going to ask you what's next. It's always after you have established all the expressions, all the relationship in terms of units. The next thing is solve it. How to solve it? You may ask again. Think of something that is equal. What is equal to what? Let's take a look. What is the actual value that they gave you? Charlene had 148 pieces. There was a total of 148 pieces of two dollars and five dollars notes at first get it thinking hard i think this should be pretty easy right now because it is as good as saying the number of two dollars notes plus five uh five dollars notes is equals to 148 right are you able to solve the units now so 10 units plus 12 units minus six is equals to 148 so group the like terms together what do I have 10 u plus 12 u I would have 22 u 22 u minus 6 is equal to 148 oh sometimes when students uh, see the negative sign they may not be so good at manipulating with that but let's for this at this for this instance I would like to draw a model to to for you to further understand it but I hope that you will outgrow the model stage because at, at, at this stage, P6, you may not need to use the model anymore. You need to understand. Okay, so for now, I'm going to show the model. So 22U minus 6 is equal to 148. So common sense will tell us that 22U must be greater than 48. 148, right? That is the very essence of your, your negative sign and the positive sign, whatever it is. And how you manipulate them left to right right to left and those, those those things like that don't just memorize it you must understand why are you doing certain things okay for example just take a look this is 22 u and after i took away six u i'm sorry six the number six the value of six then it becomes 148 so isn't it as good as saying 22 units is equal to 148 here point to point 148 plus six right so in essence this is why when this is negative here now this is minus we bring over it becomes a positive it becomes a plus it satisfies the condition of equal of equilibrium that's it so 222 uh, u is equal to 148 plus six and they get that give us 154. so what is one u it's easy just take 154 divided by 22 and get you have seven okay so answer the question right now because they asked for the total uh, the amount of money Charlene had left so these other pieces of information that we have already found used it wisely <laughs> so we were told we have worked out what is one you we were uh, we have also worked out what is um, the number of two dollars notes in the air is 12 you and what is the number of oh my I'm sorry five dollars notes in the end this should be a five here okay uh, I apologize for those type of errors should be five dollars notes so what is the value okay because these are in two different denominations two dollars and five dollars I cannot just multiply it I have to do it individually and this is what I mean by individually you need to find out the number of two dollars notes and then multiply by the value two dollars all right, so it's as good as saying 12 you what is 12 you 12 times 7 and this is I'm finding the value of two dollars notes I times 2 again so 168 the same thing what is the value the total value of five dollars notes that will be four times seven times five and this equals to 140 that's it that's it. the amount of money Charlene had left add them up you'll get 308 and don't forget to units dollars okay don't give teachers the opportunity to take away half a mark if you forget to, to to put in your units that's all 
that's the end of the presentation. I'll come up with more of this um, kind of question 17, question 17 and 18, especially word problems. Modern uh, th those questions involving figures may take a bit of time because uh, I need more time to, to come up with that. So meanwhile, yeah, just, just continue practicing your assessment book, your exam questions, and look through the videos. Let me know whether have I been doing the, the right way. Give me a like or dislike, whatever you want, so that at least I know how to gauge myself. Thank you. Have a nice day.